soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Genesis. I am very, very sorry for not keeping you guys updated or anything. I had recently made a video, which I am going to post um, <clears throat> because I need to post that freaking video. I just wanted to um, let you guys in on everything that's been going on last week. I think it was last week I think it was yeah so <clears throat> um, on April 16th I went in for an ultrasound and I found out that I'm having a little girl um, well I didn't technically know so I went in they put it in an envelope for me and um, my sister looked at it she knew what the sex was and on that same day, they were going to plan a very, very little, um, uh, like, gender reveal for me. And, <clears throat> um, I don't have footage of it. If, I don't know if my sister has footage of it or who has footage of it. But, if I can find it, I'll put it in. It's kind of cringy. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. So I found out that I was having a girl and I was, I'm not going to lie, I was a bit bummed because I really, really wanted a boy. Like I wanted a boy so, so bad. Um, but it was a girl and that's okay because I, as long as I have a healthy, chunky baby, I am perfectly fine with that. So I found out that I was having a girl. Um, and no, I still haven't picked out a name yet. Um, so I was like, I was pretty ecstatic that I was having a girl. I was like, oh wow, I'm having a girl. Kind of bummed I'm not having a boy, but I'm having a girl. I was, ex I was pretty happy and everything, right? So I was in this dress that I didn't want to be in. And, um, uh, but it did, it did kind of look good on me. I'm not going to lie, it did. <clears throat> so while I was, you know... We did have the smoke bombs, like there are these like there are these really small little smoke things, you light them up and then this pink um, smoke comes out. And um so my sister wanted to do like a quick little photo shoot of me and my boyfriend, you know, doing like a cute photo shoot obviously, um, behind this brick wall. And this cause my house is like a as bricks so we were like at a point between like the wall and my door or whatever and um <clears throat> so what happened was when they were doing those I guess the smoke bombs one had went in between my legs and I was wearing these sandals that I've always worn every summer um and <clears throat> um what happened was one of them went in between my legs so my sister uh, my older sister she was like hey there's one in between your legs you gotta move or, you know because it's still the smoke still hadn't come out so it was like fire or it was sparking or whatever <clears throat> so i was like oh my god and then my leg we're gonna pretend my hands are my legs my leg went this way <clears throat> and um <clears throat> i guess somehow I remember my leg going sideways. I don't remember how the ball had um, rolled back and it wasn't a bit in between my legs. But I'm very, very clumsy. Um, I'm, I'm a very, very clumsy person. If you didn't know already, I am extremely clumsy. When I fall, I fall completely. I don't just halfway fall. I fall completely. Um, and it wasn't my first time falling, being pregnant. I have fallen before at work um, because I'm just clumsy and dumb. Um, <clears throat> and I'll share that story after this one because that was like a quick short story. But um, so somehow 
I tripped either I tripped over air I don't know what happened but all I know is that I was falling back and <laughs> um, while I was falling back let's just say <laughs> the smoke bomb that was supposed to um, that I had like rolled back was underneath me so I like my boyfriend was holding on to me I was holding on to him everything felt like it was going in slow motion for some reason I don't know if it's because I didn't drink enough water that day and I got lightheaded or what <clears throat> um so when I went to go when I grabbed him his sweater was really soft because it was pretty cold out that day and so my hands they started slipping and I was like no and I was like trying so hard to pull myself up but for some reason I could not pull myself up <clears throat> and I had fallen right on my butt and the snow bomb was underneath my butt and it was still kind of sparking <sighs> so once I felt that heat on my butt I don't know what came over me but I pulled myself back up and I was like patting my butt because I had realized that I had burned my ass I literally burned my freaking ass the most really like the literally the most biggest gender reveal fail of my life and of course it would happen to me because because you gotta have your stories you know it, was, it happened to me well the gender reveal in general was good it was after the gender reveal it was kind of a fail um, if you could just put it that way so the photo shoot was kind of a fail because um, I had burnt my ass and I had burnt my ass really Bad. My boyfriend had no idea what was going on. He was completely lost. Um, he was uh, wondering why I left and he was going on because I guess he hadn't seen my butt. And my sister and my other sister were like, oh my god, your butt is on fire. <laughs> and it made a hole in the dress. Luckily, the dress was not expensive at all. That was like a $5 dress from clearance. And, and, it, and it went the hole went through my dress through my underwear onto my skin so it was pretty it hit her in the beginning it didn't hurt it did hurt but it didn't hurt like i was like kind of i wasn't crying or anything i was like oh my god i really just burnt my ass like oh my god you know it wasn't anything like <laughs> like it wasn't anything like uh, to cry about or anything to like freak out about but, um, so then they took me upstairs. Well, I took my ass up the stairs and they came with me. And I took off the dress. I had to take off the underwear. They had to put, like, rubbing alcohol in my butt. You would think that would burn me. No, it didn't burn. They put something else on it and some antibiotic and then, like, patched it up. Um, <clears throat> I was literally wearing, um, these like gauze pads on my butt and I was literally had like lol stickers like band-aid stickers stuck like as a tape for my butt because we didn't have any tape or actual gauze or anything like that <clears throat> so that happened and then after a while everybody left everybody went home and <clears throat> um because that day was also my sister's birthday so <clears throat> we did my gender reveal then we did her birthday and yeah so after that um i went in to take a shower and i decided to rinse off my butt first before like i turned on like the shower shower because i wanted the pressure from the bottom part you know how there's like a shower thing in the bottom part well i wanted the pressure of that to help like take off whatever was on my but <clears throat> turns out that that I was actually that was actually cloth, and I was also rinsing off the pink stuff because um, I had the pink stuff all over my butt. It was a complete fucking disaster. <laughs> and um, I pretty much got it all off. My skin was like flaky on there. It was it was just really bad. It was just it was pretty bad. And then afterwards, um, I had 
what's it called? Um, after getting all the cloth off that I thought I got off, I was like, okay, whatever. And that's when it started hurting, but it wasn't, it still didn't hurt as bad. I just couldn't lay on that side. And sitting on my ass kind of, like, it hurt. Um, sitting on my ass still kind of hurts, but it doesn't, it's like, not like a pain that, oh my god. <clears throat> um, and then the final piece of cloth was actually literally, like, stuck to my skin, so that took a little bit while, but it came off. And, um, it's just healing. It's not anything... It was serious, but it's not anything like too serious because like, I think it was on this elbow. I have like the same thing. It happened. This thing was like huge. It happened when I was little. Um, there was a car in the alleyway and the shit was going fast as fuck. And I was standing in the alleyway and I had to jump and dive. And I scraped the crap out of my elbow and it just went to scar like that. It was like huge. The shit was huge. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so it's pretty, practically the same thing that happened on my butt. So it's not anything I needed to go to the doctors for. Baby's fine. I'm fine. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, but that's not the first time I actually fell. I fell um, the first time and it was at work, but it wasn't anything dramatic. It was just being me being clumsy and not drinking enough water that day. And um, <clears throat> I had fallen. Because I had like squatted down and I was holding on to like this it's where you set your clothes on so we can ring it out for you um, and I had held my hands on there and while I was holding my hands on there um, <clears throat> I guess my like my fingertips were pretty slippery and I had leaned back just a little bit and I literally fell on my butt and then um for and for some reason um when I fell on my butt that was like the end of it but for some reason like I threw myself like I threw my hand back when my hand went back and my I, like my back went back and I smacked the crap out of the freaking the hanger rack and I was just sitting there, I'm like, oh my god. This girl's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And I'm here, like, laughing my ass off because I had just had fallen. And it was the stupidest fall in the entire world. Um, if you are someone who's watching this and you know me already, you should... I think you possibly know by now that I'm an extremely clumsy person. And if you didn't know me, I am a clumsy, a very, very clumsy person. When I fall, I completely fall. It's not like one of those oh halfway falls no i fall like i fall it's like my whole body's on the freaking ground i've always been that way ever since i was little that's why my knees are all like my knees <clears throat> halfway down my calves are all scarred up and my elbow is all scarred up because of the fact that i was i, I felt a lot as a kid um and it was and it was it was pretty funny it was pretty funny there's so many times that I have fallen I'm just surprised it's just I have so many stories of me busting my ass it's like it's just like girl when does it end it doesn't end for me I always fall so so yeah that is um, my story time of how I fell during my gender reveal or whatever you want to call it <laughs> my gender reveal surprise that's how I'm gonna put it um, <sighs> but yeah that happened um, <clears throat> and it was, it was, I guess it was embarrassing I have a photo of it I'll show it I don't care <sighs> so yeah excuse me anyways I hope you guys have a um, good of a day as you possibly can. Remember to stay home and wash your hands. We can't be nasty during this time. And um, yeah, take care of yourselves. All right, see ya.